It's, it's time, time to spring, spring into something delicious with HelloFresh. Every week you get fresh pre-portioned ingredients and recipes delivered to your door. Get 16 free meals plus three free gifts with code UNFILTERED16 at HelloFresh.com slash UNFILTERED16. Thank you, HelloFresh. I was at a party one time and this dude was like, pull, trying to like pull something up to show me and he was really drunk, was like <laughs> not a very nice guy. And I'm like, okay, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then he pulls up his phone and just porn hubs on oh, it. And I was like, no, oh, okay. No. And he was like, oh man, I'm sorry about that. No, <laughs> let me show you this one thing. I was like, okay. That's How do you forget to close, just close up? Did it your Uber driver the other day just oh have my that God. up too? Oh, Matt, how have we not talked about that? <laughs> um, yes, this happened last Saturday. Lord, you're yeah. not gonna believe. Oh my God. Two Saturdays ago. I have stress, ago. I have stress. <laughs> Um, so it was just a Saturday. We were about to go to this busy event. Um, we get the Uber. We're all hopped in. Um, and, and, and like, <laughs> it, 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 but like, no music's playing, nothing. Right. And um, I was like, what, what's the Oxcord sitch? I didn't say anything, but I was like seeing what's on the radio. Right. And I see um, oh, what was like bareback anal sex. <laughs> xnxx.com you know that and we know that's right. right xnxx.com and it was just right there and i go i couldn't believe my eyes i'm like that's not a song that's a video and i was hooked up to the driver's phone so like i immediately because like i didn't want him i just like i had to get it like on picture and then yeah. slowly by slowly i kept telling other people in the car <laughs> like look 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 and you should have told them just to turn it up yeah I like, could you turn it up for me oh i like this song turn it up i felt too bad i don't know i was that's just, a situation where you, you i wouldn't be able to say something right because right. you don't want to make you it can. because you, you can't plus yeah. you're stuck in the car with him so it's yeah that's not yeah. the end of the drive that's yeah the end. like you right. get out you, you're shutting the door hey by the way you might want right. to i would honestly i would good. never because like you know he's gonna think about that for a long the time rest of his but life. it'll it's make so him careful of like the next people getting in the car right. you know I what know. i mean who knows who would like a get in a next child like, yo my wife's in here my yeah. kids what the hell is this I guess you guys are like, yo, hit that play button. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. I guess it's how you do it. When you leave, it's like, hey, dude, I didn't want to say anything. It's really funny, but you have your thing on. Like, oh, you yeah. Say it. Sam would say, you would say exactly but that. Does that mean he was like getting it in the car before you guys exactly showed up? Exactly what I was saying. No, he probably uh, he was at, at home, home and then he got in the car and it automatically synced Or up between it, Uber rides. Right. Oh, yeah, when, waiting. In yeah, the car, waiting. just fucking. Just, just, <laughs> That's a hazard. <laughs> and then then you like ask for the ox cord to be passed and he's like touching it. Oh Ooh. my God. You know what I mean? Like, oh. no, no, no. You guys want any gum? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my God. Have you seen God. that one like short film though? I saw it in a movie theater before like a movie played, but it was like a brother who's like his sister and the mom were like, we're going to go out, run out errands, like whole house to yourself. He's like, awesome, cool, thanks. And he like sees them leave or get in the driveway <laughs> and he immediately pulls out his like port and he's like, but he didn't realize it was connected to the car. Oh. So they're oh, in the car going, huh? and he's just like, what the <laughs> f <laughs> the sound isn't working. No. That's yeah. bad. Okay, oh, well, let's oh. let's roll through the intro. Oh, we have a dear. very exciting guest. You Woo! guys already saw her. But very exciting guest. Let's... It's, it's Coffee Town, Town, baby! Yeah! It's yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Wow. Ooh. Wow. That was wow. nice. That's the vibe. We, we do it no music right every week. It's Everybody has music. I know, I except say, for I us. Like, I had music. But did yeah, you, that's, did you it's it? new. That's no, like we're, the third we're, time we're bumping it. Oh, you're bumping it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh that's why you, you weren't in the same rhythm uh, as me, because you had your own shit. headphones, so he didn't know that it plays in our headphones. Man, you're missing out, Yeah, dude. and people keep asking. I don't wear headphones because I feel like I'm focusing too much. Yeah, it's in my way too much. But yeah, guys. in his head. We have a very special guest today with us. Um, we have Lauren Remanak. Remanak. <laughs> Remy Not even close. Woo, but that's, yeah. like, that's like the remix. That was good. I like that. Well, well, how do you, how do you pronounce it? Riamaki. Riamaki. You were super close. Riamaki. That's a really cool fucking Miss Mary Mackie. Oh. <laughs> Another is, remix. Is <laughs> Another remix. Can you like, if you like Google your last name, is there already some YouTube video of someone like pronouncing it? Like Riamaki. No, Ria but it is a city in Finland. 
Oh. oh. Which is super fucking random. Oh, that's cool. I've like dropped with a little man on Google Maps there and to like go walk around Riamaki to see what it's like. You have to go visit there and just buy like buy all land. the merch. Oh, <laughs> Matt, I good idea. Land in Riamaki. It's like, it looked, I don't know if maybe like the Google Maps car just drove by in like kind of a shitty time of the year, but it looked real bleak. And uh, I'm so sorry. Shout out to the people of Riamaki. Oh, yeah, see, look at Riamaki. There it is. Oh, gorgeous. Wow. I was like, that looks oh, no. Kind look of- at the first picture they show. Oh, oh no. That's, it's cute. Come on. It's dark. It's, it's it, cool. Yeah, it looked dark and bleak. <laughs> it's just, it's just a nighttime that's photo. That's the first photo. Dark. Matt, mood, bleak. 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 <laughs> the spirits are high here in Riamaki, Finland. <laughs> Oh, it's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. It's charming. It's a little charming. It's not quite on my bucket list. I'm gonna be mm. honest. It's on. The, but it's is a, your last name Finnish? Yeah. I think we've talked about. Wow. We've talked about this. I yeah, know. Yeah. When did they have it? So. <laughs> <laughs> but a little, Finnish, Finnish, but Canadian. Finnish, but Canadian, and also Asian. Uh-huh. When did you move here from the U.S. or the, from Canada? Uh, six years ago, maybe. Six. So you're still, still kind of fresh here. We've been here longer is than that you've fresh been. Still? I know. Yeah, I'm to me, LA too. still doesn't... feels fresh. Really, I feel like it's like the first two years is like you go through some bullshit, but then after like your first two or three years, I feel like you like have a lay of the land. No, no. I think it feels fresh. I think it's an illusion because when like moving to this area, this is new to us, so it oh. feels like yeah, we're we starting keep, over. We keep jumping from different yeah. areas because every town is so mm. different. Yeah, different vibes. So for different. Sure. different yeah. vibes. Do you ever see like just true LA people? And I feel like they're like <laughs> coming out. You are the true LA person right now. You're fucking vape coming out. <laughs> I what? thought I like I was hiding it the whole time. What did he have? I just see it's it was just like vapor puff. coming out of my oh, mouth. Oh no, it's just really cool in here, guys. It's what are you cold. doing? It's a hot <laughs> frio. Um, I turn do you around like, like a dragon. Cause like, yeah, we've been we've been living out here for now like six, seven years. Oh, I feel like we should feel like we live in LA, but do you ever just like drive down West Hollywood you see people having brunch? You're yeah. like, they are living it and I'm not. Yeah, I still feel like we shouldn't be here. Like, I don't feel like I'm part of this city yet. It doesn't feel like home. Yeah. It feels like I'm working for you a really long time. You were at a party with 50 cent couple weeks. I don't understand how you could <laughs> exactly. not feel like you don't you're home. Like, yeah. <laughs> like when people it's like visit, a fantasy. I never know what to say to like go do. Like, like there's like touristy things, but they're like, what's right. a good place? I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I, don't. I hate, I, when my family comes in town, I hate having to take them to like the tourist spots because- I love it. You I like it, it I don't. Insane. Who took your family? Me. Yeah, they took, <laughs> <laughs> they took I took family. his car, I was like, I'm taking you to the Hollywood side. <laughs> I'm like, honestly, I, I am really bad with coming up with things to do with like family when they yeah, come yeah. into town. With yeah. friends, it's super easy. You just f- pick a bar. Just it's <laughs> anybody. Pick a bar. Anybody just, pick a bar anywhere. Yeah. Find, just tag out, along. find out what your uh, family's favorite show is and take them around where it's Oh, going. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's Different a good idea. Yeah, it's really yeah. fun. Their favorite show? Like, I took, yeah. my, I took my aunt and my grandma to the Brady Bunch house, and they were living Yeah, but my up. mom's favorite show is the Playboy Bunny house. Take so, her to freaking- okay. yeah, How do I get- I don't- How am you? I gonna get in there? They don't even own the Playboy mansion anymore, right? Didn't somebody buy it? You could drive it? past it. It's still exciting. It's, it's like a giant gate. It's like you can't even see it. All right, take it. her to Six Flags. Have you ever been Which I did, and I did. All right, you're good. She's happy. Anyways. All, everything's covered. <laughs> Lauren, what do you geek out about? Like, is there something that, like, like, if Moose. there's like a location Moose. of something, you're like, <gasps> I need Where's to go Moose? visit that. I don't. You're not like I a big like, fan girl about like any particular show or movie or um, no, no. nothing tickles excited. your fancy. What gets you pumped? Oh my god, fuck! This is like a kind of like really hard like generic question. It is. And I don't I would, know the I answer be able to. Like, yeah, I what gets you pumped? Basic, but it's really yeah, but it's like fully really, loaded. Like, I'm sweating now. I was yeah. just trying to find a segue to make it back to you. <laughs> um, wait, hmm. I have a question. Do you know how to spell segue? I know how to spell like the. Br- oh wait, it's S-E- like S E U G. No, S E G U E W A Y. Okay, ready for the biggest mind fuck of your entire life? Segway is spelled S E G U E. Yes. No, it's oh, not. Yes, it is. Yes. What? Yes. Like a what? segue into Segu? a conversation. Okay, so on my podcast, I had to read something that was like scripted with the word segue on it, and I straight up just said segu because that's how that that's what that says. <laughs> that's S-E-G-U-E what it does say that. Yeah. Says fucking segu. So it's not spelled like the segue brand. Segway is like segue. that's the brand. It's that's right. S E G U E. What the. F- to segue into a new piece of conversation is spelled like segu. For the brand, that was really smart to do that because yeah. everybody, wow. it's like, let's segue. They t- they write yeah, S-E-G-W-A-Y. Huh? Whoa, I know. that is crazy. I don't go. feel like I knew the word segue though before. Segue? Like the segues. I only knew it for comedians making a segue into another joke oh. so they find something to tie them. Oh, yeah. 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 Segu. I just thought people were saying it's that a great because segu. of it's a great the brand. Segu. Yeah. I bet you comedians don't know how to spell it. Probably not. And they're probably reading it all day. If there's, if there hasn't been a stand-up joke about it. I yeah. bet there they has. Cl- <laughs> probably. 
<laughs> I haven't seen it. You're one of like the OG YouTubers, right? You started like 12 years ago. 10 years ago. So I don't, I'm not like OG OG. Like, like I feel like people were like 15 years ago. Did you, do you like know who the OGs are? Like, I, I, no. I thought like, you were one of the OGs. I just Jay Carls and stuff. Shay like, Carls. Jenna Marbles. Jenna Marbles. Yeah, like Ryan Higa. Philip DeFranco. Is he an OG? Oh, yeah, he could yeah, be an OG. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kasim G. Isn't that like OG? Lisa oh. Nova. Oh, my God. You're naming people that I don't even know. I know. Maybe, I think maybe they're, they're super OG. Did, did, you, did you get five star ratings under your videos? Oh, fuck. You could rate videos? Yeah, that's what that was old YouTube. That was old YouTube. It was like Yelp. Yeah, it was like five star. It wasn't likes. It was five. You gave the video a star. Oh, Wait, that's really? Interesting. Yeah. So I was on YouTube right after that, I think. Really? Yeah, I was, I was Damn. right after that. So that's that. still pretty early. Oh, were, it was early for sure. Were people making money back then? I was making money maybe in 20... Wait, so if I graduate, like maybe like 2013, 2014, I started making money. When did you when start? Did you start? 2011. And when did you stop wow. making money? Wow. Uh, yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> yesterday. 2020. Yeah. That's why she's in the NFT space. Yeah. <laughs> she moved on over. Oh my God, fuck. That's crazy. I can't believe how involved, you, like how indulged you are in the NFT and crypto space. Oh my God. Like, it doesn't make sense. Gonna come up. You don't seem like that type of person. They're to like, be, like mining crypto at their house. <laughs> Y'all are like mining crypto in your attic. I was like, what's this cord? And Jeremy's oh God, like, I, I'm, mining, so I'm mining crypto. And I was like, okay, <laughs> next level. That's like single-handedly the most nerdy thing that has ever, I think, been attached to my life. It's cool. making like a dollar a day? Or yeah, I think, I think we cracked out maybe $11 yesterday. It's pretty sick. Hey, wow. <laughs> when did, you, when did you start this journey? This like- Maybe like eight months ago. Oh my God, we got the-, the... Did Jeremy get you into it? Or were you like, hey, this yeah. is really cool. What is this? Let's try to figure this out. Well, no, Jeremy's like a full like DJ and crypto. Crypto bro, and so like it was being talked about in my household all the time. So it was either like learn what was going on, or just like or break not, up, or break up, <laughs> literally, or like not talk to him for the rest of our relationship. So it was like, wow, okay, we got we got a few choices here, and I feel like you did a really good job. Thank you. I, I mean, can never, I'll never be able to understand it. It doesn't matter how many books I read. I don't read books, but it doesn't matter how much I try to learn. I will never fully understand. NFTs. I feel like that's not true, Mariah. I can you can you agree anything. with me? I wanted to try to look smart. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't wrap did, my head around it How did he break all. it down to you? It's very controversial because I feel like there's a lot of headlines that are really fucked up, and there's like a lot of kinks that still need to be worked out in like a lot of ways. So like yeah. I totally understand the perspective of people like hating on crypto. Totally get it. Um, don't you guys have an NFT? You guys went to the after party. We, we, I know we have an we NFT. Got, it was the most embarrassing thing. They went to give it to us. They're like, "Are you minting tonight?" And I was like, "Huh." <laughs> What are you talking about? They thought it was drugs. They were like, wait a I, th I thought it was like a, like yeah. A, like a mint mint. Yeah, but in like yeah. a, in a, in a cool way. I, I didn't know, I didn't know. <laughs> but, you need a, your breath. <laughs> I, that's what I thought. Um, yeah, talking. so. But you we, have one, right? You we have, have one. one. Honestly, yes. they they gifted it to me on the TV screen. I looked at it, I was like, that's sick. Take and your then Instagram story and yeah. they, I, I didn't like it. hook my, I don't, they were like, send me your wallet. And I was like, your hand, sure. your leather wallet, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, no, it hasn't been hooked up yet. Got it. How okay. do you feel about, before you get into that, how do you okay. feel about after party? Since you're such, like, since you know the NFT world. I wasn't world. invited. No, but like, Ooh, just give it. No, your Wait, thoughts. Oh, you weren't. No. <laughs> That's I was like, strange. Cause like Remy NFT. and but, Alicia and everyone got invited and I was like, the FOMO is so real. But they're doing it like in waves, I think right now. Oh, yeah, so but she should, last year? <laughs> well, I haven't no, got mine, start, but I know maybe mine. Maybe they started with tier three. And they're, they're <laughs> she should have been the first wave cause she's like an NFT girl. Right, you know what I mean? That's what we're saying. Speaking of, Sebastian Maniscalco apparently gave out NFTs to everybody who went to his show. Yeah, my parents got. Did you, did you get one? Did you get no, one? No, it was the show, the Long Island show. I sent my parents for their anniversary to the Long Island show, and he's the first comedian to give out NFTs to everybody who. Showed That's up. hilarious. How? Because <laughs> it's a comedian. Yeah. Like, oh god, no, I don't know. Why, so, but why did he like what? What NFT was it? Like, what know. was the NFT? It might be something that's like five years or a year from now, whatever. That if you have one of those NFTs, if right. you got it from totally. being at that show, you get something. Right. Or it's like that might be like, like maybe the first right. comedian to give out. Maybe like in 2050 or whatever. It's, it's kind of like, like a coupon. Yeah. It's a it token. could be a coupon for the next show. And, and it's, it's like a Pokemon. Non fungible badge. coupon. Non fungible and, and a coupon. Years, Fucking NFT. Right? In a few years, that NFT, like you went to the show, that NFT is going to come with like a discount to go to his, one of his next shows or something. It's going to like come with right. like benefits, which no, is. Now we need just more NFT. Groupon. Are you going to gift us any for, you know, for I this special night? I don't have anything to give, to give you. Oh, okay. How many so NFTs do okay. you own? Maybe like 30. Woo! What? Whoa. Damn. Full transparency. Full transparency. It's like, also, it's weird at that Sebastian show. I couldn't, I bought my tickets and I couldn't 
send my parents the email or screenshot it and send it because the ticket was a barcode, but it was like a GIF. It was moving. So they had to go into the account to show it moving. And they, oh. they, couldn't, they couldn't print it out. I felt so wow. bad because every ticket they want printed out. My parents do. Yeah. And yeah. they couldn't print it out because it had to be moving. Fold I was like, this up. is ridiculous. That's so interesting. <laughs> <laughs> but like, well, I still don't get people at the airport who go and like print off my your mom. Pass. I gotta I'm print like, my boarding it's pass. It's on your fucking I, phone. Right there. Yeah, I print it out every time. I've I never used my phone. Just want to know never, it's real. No, no, I, I do both. I just, I just feel like I have so many immigration issues because I'm a, on a visa because oh. I'm Canadian. That like, if there's anything that's gonna go wrong, I want like 14 copies of everything just in case. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Are wow. you, and you're on a, you're on like a dual. Like, so no, maybe I wish I was dual. No, but, no, no. But, it's called an O1 visa. Got it. So, so when do you, like, when do you have to go back? Well, hopefully never. Like, so you can just re keep renewing it. So yeah, how does that work? Is it like every so many years you have to like go check back in in Canada and then redo it? Or? No, no, no. You don't have to go back to like check back in. You have to reapply for it. To, like, oh, it. gotcha. But we're just trying to find an American boy to get married to. You should, yeah. Or you should <laughs> go to go to go to David's people. They were able to make it work. Just. Hit him off. We, so, we have Jeremy. Jeremy's the current, that's the current plan right now. But oh, oh, if got that doesn't it. work out, yeah. So yeah. you want to do it like authentically? What? Like, authentically. I, I don't know I mean, that I've, sounds yeah. authentically. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I think every person in this country needs to get citizenship <laughs> legitimately. I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I just want to play the role. So you guys have been going at this for a long time just for this citizenship. You guys are yeah. selling it really good. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, you got to build really up real. the portfolio yeah, of like the photos, the videos. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's amazing. And then the dog. Talk to Moose, oh, that I mean, really yeah. tied it in, just, ties yeah. everything in. They, bow they, on top. They played this in court. <laughs> <laughs> See, this one so she is yeah, fucks me. Um, so how did you and Jeremy meet? So we met through work through NFT. <laughs> Oh my god! Imagine he sold me my first, first board eight, and, and it was love at first NFT. Sorry, good. Um, we met through work, and so he was previously engaged, and um, <gasps> what scandal? <gasps> scandal! Scandal! The so you drama. you seen a married man? No, I was also in another relationship. We met through work. Oh my god! So All right. basically, it was a force. This is a zone. sick world. Some sick people. You both are. Nasty. <laughs> Nasty. How, how long ago is this? When, uh, first when we met first him? met, probably like five, six years ago. And obviously you weren't dating right away. He was engaged. He was engaged to someone that was not me. <laughs> and then I was in another relationship as well too. And so they uh, obviously did not get married. And my last relationship also did not work out. And so we crossed paths eventually on dating apps. So he saw me on Raya, uh, slid in my DMs on Instagram. I didn't see that kind of went into like the other oh. folder or whatever. Cause like, he wasn't yeah. blue checked. Uh -huh. He was blue checked. Oh, oh, but he was at like top request, right? Okay, or so I didn't know that that was a thing until also like six months oh, ago. Oh, poor thing she had to scroll through. For, mm. Oh, oh that Jeremy. means you were looking for some DMs. <laughs> <laughs> you don't just come across. Okay. He was working hard. No, 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 no. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. So he thought that I ghosted him cause I didn't open and I didn't see it. Yeah. And then I saw him on Hinge and swiped on him on Hinge. Hinge works wow. really well, I feel like. Dude, all of my friends met their boyfriends on Hinge. Wow. wow, I need to try Hinge. I heard it works a lot for a lot of people. What was your song on Raya? Oh, fuck, I don't know. I actually didn't know that my Raya profile was still going. Oh, I didn't delete yeah. it. I deleted what? the app, what do you but mean I song? like on Riot, you can have like a song. Play it's also like, like a MySpace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like <laughs> this is real. This is me. But it's kind of oh, it's kind of cr it's kind of cringe though, because you know how people will post pictures <laughs> on their story and put a song over, and just like why is yeah, there a song? Why? Over yeah, why? That's it's what like it feels that. like when you're watching a Riot is, profile. It's like MySpace. Is that where people are posting the TikToks where it's like you can have an audio message? That's Hinge. That's Hinge. that is a crazy update that they did. I see so many fucking. I actually, that's cool. I think that's cool. I've yeah. seen two where people are like, I'm only making this audio message to try to make the shape of a penis. And then they'll be like, <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that's uh, funny. Oh, that's good. Uh, and it's like, I think I got it. <laughs> um, interesting. That's what a was, good ad. What was his DM slide? What did it look like? He went for the approach of like complimenting my dog moose. Ooh, yeah. that's, that's the move. That's that the is. move, 100%. Did you have yeah. dogs? Did he have your uh, dog in like three of your pictures? Oh, on my profile? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, 100%. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. If I was single, I would just go to the dog park every day. 100%. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> Wait, do you, does no one have a dog here? No. Okay, so there's this membership only dog park in Santa Monica. So you have to, <laughs> and you have to have a what? You have to have a dog? No, you, you have a to have break. a, that's bullshit. Who is going to a dog? Wait, you need an me. NFT it's to me. get <laughs> it. <laughs> what is, what is a membership yeah. cost? Say it. $70. $70 a, a month? Wait, that's a gym membership that's, for humans. That's yeah. twice <laughs> the price of LA Just to Fitness. take your puppy to a park? 
It's the best part. Is there okay. puppy spas wait, or wait, some wait, shit? Let's hear it. Okay, okay. So we got bacon flavored bubble machine. Yes, dog people. This wait, right here. Wait, a bacon flavored bubble machine. Bacon flavored oh, bubble that's... machine. That, that is yeah, like, like seventy dollars. Take my yeah, money. Yeah. <laughs> this looks like the 1975s like merch yeah. website. Like, what yeah. the hell is this? Wait, that's, just... that's cool. wait. This looks wait. amazing. Yeah, do you what remember? Do you, mean? Do you need a dog? I have a. I have plus two humans. So bubble. What were you saying? Does anybody remember flavored bubbles? They used to be like bubble gum flavored you can blow them and like eat them uh -uh. nobody remembers oh, that yes 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 i know that? like the edible bacon bubbles. flavored yes. bubbles i didn't think about that until you just said bacon flavored mm -hmm. bubbles okay this shit is wow. so la it's are you so fucking LA. kidding me oh look it's moose there it's a little bull terrier oh. i know it's so cute. And so they have events like for every holiday. Um, they have a bar. They have a liquor license and a cafe. What? Wait, dogs can drink liquor over there? Yeah, How expensive are the lit. drinks No, there? they just like lit. eight bucks. Not crazy. Okay, not bad. Yeah, not yeah, bad. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what else? They've got. So you need a puppy to get a membership. No, right? I, I have plus two humans. No, no, I'm me. saying like. Oh, oh, oh. For like you to go by yourself. I get it. You don't want to come with me. Okay, got it. No, I'm just, um, like, well, I'm just wondering as like if I was, if I really love dogs, but I don't want to dog myself because, yeah. you know, I'm busy and I want to go to a dog park because. I, I like to watch puppies. You can meet women, Zane. Exactly. And that's why I'm asking. There. For a friend. <laughs> I think you need a dog. That's f that's that's like going to a playground without a kid. Yeah, you're you right. Just, that's got the wait, same no, energy. That's got no, the same it's energy. Not. That's <laughs> not the same energy. <laughs> No, there's, like, there's puppies, there's puppies of all ages. There's puppies that are old. There's puppies that are babies. Yeah, yeah but if you don't, I don't know if that's actually making the argument better. Yeah, if you, you don't, don't have the have it, you just don't go. I've gone into dog parks just to like play around. Not the membership only one. Not the, well, obviously not the membership only. But like my friends and I will have a few drinks and we're like walking back to like apartment. Let's we'll see a dog park. Dogs. We're like, let's just go run around and like people are like good sports. There. <laughs> they, they go on there. Four more legs. <laughs> <laughs> It's just so cute though. Wow, that's really nice. It's it's so it's so excellent. Where is it at? Uh Santa Monica. You oh. should you should oh, do you something. You gotta drive out to Santa Monica. <laughs> is that Liza Koshi? Yeah, oh my god, Liza goes. She's a member. Oh, <laughs> I've seen oh. it. Oh, I know exactly what this yeah, is. Yeah, 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 yeah. They do like, like fit fitness. There's they do like workout. They are on a squid game theme. Oh, it was Halloween. <laughs> My bad. Wait, <laughs> Lauren, why wow. aren't you like you should do something? You should collaborate with them on like a project. I'm are she's they, like, I own are it. You doing <laughs> I actually own 50% of it. <laughs> do they discriminate the other dogs on the Instagram? It seems no. like all the cute dogs are getting features. All the nice breeds, Very you good, know? Matt. Hey, well, why the, isn't mine getting tagged, huh? All the celebrity owners. <laughs> all the celeb I know, I know Liza's up there, her dog's up there. Why didn't you bring Moose, by the way? I thought yeah, you, I actually thought you were about? gonna bring- I, I thought about it, but I, he's kind of a menace. We need a little bit of terrorizing. Okay, we are. Terrorizing, yeah, no, I feel like your cameras are probably worth too much that we don't- Oh, he'll like- Oh, he's like a tornado, like a Tasmanian devil. A little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. In like new spaces, like have you seen that TikTok where it's like your dog chilling like at home zoomies. when no one's home? Yeah, and they're like resting with their fucking arm on the side of the camera. right. When you go to someone else's house. He's about to be five, right? Oh my God, great memory. You're all invited to his do you birthday. Have a, do you have a birthday? All of a sudden. The 28th? What the fuck? Come on now. <laughs> Come on, Moose. Wait, and it's at? The Dog, dog Park. People Park. Uh, are you doing Wait, anything special? I should see if they would host Moose's birthday party. That'd be they fun, would. and we're That'd all invited. Cute. She's like, y'all gotta pay $70. <laughs> $70 a NFT. person in NFT, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. You should have a, a cool little puppy party. Wait, that's actually the best idea. It's so cute. You guys have to go. I do have a question. I found out that you love Candy Crush. Do I, you love Candy Crush? I love Candy Crush and I saw the TikTok of like the podcast cut down that you've spent how much money on TikTok? It was $4,320. <laughs> I just feel like you can't talk shit on anyone about I'm not NFTs. I'm not, I'm not, you spent yeah, that right? much money. Oh yeah, yeah, no, you're right. You're right. That, oh, true. But I, I, I take, I take like, I, what's the word? I count, very good, thank you. I take accountability <laughs> for that, for my actions yeah, for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But, since you love playing Candy Crush, I want to know how much you've spent on Candy Crush. Zero, Zero probably. What's the score? Yeah. What Zero score dollars. do we right. got? She plays good. What level she are you need on? To level up. Um, no, I'm I'm not like crazy high. It's been a, it's been a hot minute. Honestly, since like Wordle came into my life, I haven't Candy Crush. Wait, Wordle. you, you Wordle's a it's a three minute game. Once what? you do the Wordle, you can you check what level you're on? I really hope it's yeah, higher yeah. than Zane's. No, it's definitely not. If you pay money, like when I'm at a lives, I'm like, eh. yeah, I'm at twenty seven hundred. So <laughs> not a real one. Like, I really think I'm probably at like 300. Oh, okay. I don't know. We're like a rookie. Like, okay, let's see. 316. <laughs> 
Fucking, that's <laughs> fucking rookie numbers. Come on, man. Yo, I was there I on day two. Yo, Come tell on. me about your Wordle streak, though. There's a Wordle streak? Oh, I need to start. I, I think always... I got to like 22, and I was like, okay. all right, that's enough. Okay. <laughs> I'm always making it. What do you mean, like, this streak? Like, how many days? Did you get them all what correct? Did you oh, I guess I've missed, like, a few. I'm, like, oh. bad about my browser. I need to be, like, good. It keeps track of your streak. Yeah, oh, I've never lost. On Wordle? I've always every time every time I've played I've never lost, but oh, I stopped. Yeah. Speaking of uh, candy, though, I I have a, a little something for you. I know it's a little bit controversial. Um, oh, oh my god! Yeah, we love controversial shit. Why do you like these? <gasps> oh, <laughs> those are the worst. My grandpa. Oh my god. What Why the fuck am I is being this? outed like that? What is this? It's a circus peanut. I love them. I'm with you. No. You do? Yeah. Yes, my, gr you. my, oh my grandpa God. loved them yeah, and I would grandma. eat them as a kid all the time. I they're not I'm not crazy about you them, but I don't mind are? them. Yeah, I don't mind them. I've never had one. I it, they <gasps> You've look never had one? one? He, I mean, I used to have those Does all the time as a like kid. Does it taste like peanuts? It's more no. like a, no, no, like a no. thicker marshmallow. It's like a talking marshmallow. This is your favorite yeah. candy. No, 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 no. Where did you find that? Also, I'm concerned that this is publicly on the internet that you can find this, that I love circus peanuts. Also, I like them. How do we feel about candy corn? I love candy corn. I do like it. Oh, so I this is the same it. vibe. <laughs> Ew. No, this is no. like nostalgic for me. Yeah, me I'm too. like, I'm in a state of peace right now. It, it tastes like gum. It does yeah. taste a little gummy, yeah. And then it's it starchy dissolves. like gum. Oh, Heath, it it tastes like gum, but it's not chewable. It's it, it just melts in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Like it like feels wrong. Juicy fruit. You know when you chew juicy fruit <laughs> for a long time, <laughs> it just melts. Yeah. Yes. Have, has that ever happened? It would be liquid. <laughs> liquid. I remember why, one day it just started it? dripping. I was yes. like, yeah. Anybody here know what flavor these are? What's it say? Does it tell you? It's gum. It? I think it's like kind of an orangey sorbet. So There's, it's it's a peanut. I have one. Yeah, can you keep passing those? Yeah, they're not supposed to. <laughs> yeah. They're not yeah, supposed to take like taste like peanuts. No, no, no. I yeah, thought no. they were going to be peanut butter flavored. Oh no, no, no. They're banana flavored candy. Yeah. Oh. Wow. A staple since the 19th century. Surprising. Oh, Lauren, you can eat more than one. I could crush this whole bag for sure. Yeah, yeah, same. yeah. they're so they're yeah. addicting. I think. Here, give, give it to Moose. <laughs> <laughs> On a dark and stormy night. <laughs> <laughs> we had Alicia here on our high episode, which you guys should check out, by the way. It's out. Yes, it's up. We, she loves these Australian, like, Twizzler Alicia Marie? gummies. Alicia yeah. Marie. Did she get yeah. high with you? Yeah. Yes. Her first time getting high on camera. I was going to say, I was like, oh it my was, God. It was wild. Funny. She was so. The thing is that we were all. Really high too, and uh -huh. normally we don't get that high, but we were really high that in like in that we, episode. We pushed it a little bit. Yeah, and she was wow. too. So we're all just like, every five minutes we'd just be like, "What's going on?" <laughs> and they would just pause. I felt like we came up with some good ideas. There was a we lot did. of we were yeah. creative. That's we came for up sure. with our whole body. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Matt came with the idea where we come up with a, we do a hibachi table over here so we it's can podcast in the center while but we like, hibachi. We obviously sick. can't cook it in here, but like Why? it'd be a sick like photo shoot for like season three. You're like, we're cooking up a good episode for you guys. That is like, good. That is or good. Just, I just want to see. A oh, I can smell it. <laughs> yeah. I like a circle hibachi. It. Uh, and then we had like short film ideas. <laughs> <laughs> we maybe you'll see us at Sunday. Oh, remember, I'm gonna say. remember when you guys were on the rack girl and I thought you guys were saying the rat girl? <laughs> Zane was laughing at a joke for like 45 minutes <laughs> and it was the wrong joke. It was the wrong joke. joke. <laughs> it had nothing to do. Oh God, it's really funny. Um, but it's on our Patreon right now, Zane and Heath. Uh, Patreon.com well, Patreon slash Zane, Zane and Heath. And Heath. Um, oh my God. Nice plug. Do you smoke weed at all? I will drink weed. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, I mean, what? What is that? Drink weed. Wait, like, what do you, what do you in, mean? In oh, the like can drink. Yeah, can, can. Remember we gave them to you at our house last time? Yeah. Oh, yeah, can, yeah, yeah. can. Like, can, C A N N. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the weed can. That's how it spells. Can, can. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, no, I got super high out of my face the very first time I smoked weed. And so I've been like scared to hit a bong in a very long time. I'll like hit a joint or whatever, but I'm more of like an ingest er mm, of weed. Yeah. Like an edible? Um, yeah, like I'll do a gummy. I like I like the drink though the best. I feel like with a drink you can like yeah these are so good. It's similar to like alcohol where like the you way get to you like take you it feel in, like you can control it. Oh, yeah. remember like, when your mom visited? She yes. accidentally had one. Oh, oh really? She yeah, didn't I know had him in the fridge. 
She thought it was like she a didn't juice. Know it was weird. She drank the whole thing. I don't know if she finished the whole thing, but because I don't think it tastes very good. If like if, if you think it's a no, normal it drink, so you, good. you can't tell. You can't oh, tell really? at, all. at all. Yeah, you can't tell at all. Oh. We should try that next time. And so like, I, you make the mistake sometimes just like being thirsty and like slamming a whole one. And for me, my tolerance is low. And so then I'll be on a ball on the couch, like having a panic attack, <laughs> wow. like trying to get through an episode of a show because I just- just But just one can will like get you- If I like drink it in like 10 seconds, yeah. Good. Shotgun it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, I wanna try it now, but you say, you're saying you can control yourself more. Yeah, yeah. Well, I feel like because you're sipping it, you can like- Right. Because I can't control myself when I'm smoking we weed. Fuck a bond. If it's a drink, Zane's gonna be- five deep and not be able to control it. We've had people on our podcast who who drink them, but they'll come on and just like pound like some of the tall boys. And like Ooh. by the end of the podcast, they're like on a different planet. Oh wow. boy, yeah. that's not fun. The best episodes, honestly. Oh really? <laughs> You guys are coming up with I, good in, movie in scripts. I, I wish I was one of those people that could get high and have these beautiful, creative, I know. colorful no, ideas. It's not me either. It gets so dark. And I just shut down, yeah. which is also entertaining. But <laughs> <laughs> watching watching Matt's brain, and I'm sitting here just. Well, you know what? I think we need to like get hype, but then like not be recording and just think of as many things as we can. Okay, maybe because you do have to because you're all, yeah. you are yeah. constantly thinking about the camera when you're. Totally, you're not. Yeah, it's impossible to like not think about it. Yeah, but also cool. I feel you so. But much. you're yeah. you're on yeah. fire yeah. when when you're when he's on weed. He's on fire. I feel I like he, he's you're better than <laughs> sober. I'm like on Jesus. We <laughs> on, got any weed here, uh, Dad? Let me take a little puff. Oh to my God. Steer this ship. I'm kidding. Right, you've never you've never smoked in your life, right? Never. No. And you'll never not even the can shit. Oh, like I you, don't know. Except that one time. I don't know time. what the future holds. <laughs> no. I know. When were the one time I came over? And you were what smoking time? that big fat one. Oh, yeah, yeah, I <laughs> and, did and, do it. And, yeah, and yeah. I came oh. over, you were out of town. I came over to pick something up, and Mariah just tossed that <laughs> yeah, like It was like, what's up? Goal. Mariah. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. And that, is that why that fire happened in, uh, mm -hmm. by the- Porter Ranch. Unbelievable. <sighs> that was it. It was the blunt. And you it guys are saying, we had to escape our house. It was you. She fell asleep with Mariah the- Mariah started the fire. <laughs> 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 it was always burning. <laughs> <laughs> I love the I love the image of just this lady just like one segment she causes the whole city. It happens. That's it's, crazy. It's crazy to me how many people used to fall asleep smoking cigarettes. Uh. Like people in bed watching television just smoking cigarettes with an ashtray on the nightstand and would just fall asleep. That makes no sense to me. No, but I guess like, I think about all the times I've fallen asleep with my phone in my hands. But you- Imagine it, just a cigarette, just- but you I guess, know, I, I don't know, it's crazy like, to me. It's, that's different than I've, I've never, I've never smoked a cigarette. Would you like to try it? Absolutely fuck not. No. <laughs> not <bad. laughs> Can I get a cigarette? <laughs> we should do a cigarette Patreon. We just smoke, <laughs> just rip just It's one of our Dunkin' Donut hangouts <laughs> where we would just, we would rip through an entire pack. It's like an old late night show. Bad. Like, it, I would smoke so many, and because he smoked, I would smoke so much with him. And Did I, you have I, trouble I, quitting? It was my fault. We're still struggling. Hold on, say that again? Did you have trouble quitting? I wasn't addicted to cigarettes. So you I got, just stop? No, but I got addicted to puffs. Nicotine, oh. the nicotine addiction. You heard on, it here first. I moved on to the puffs <laughs> from cigarettes got because it. I was like, oh, this tastes better, but then I actually got addicted to the puffs. Got it. Cigarette, never, ever. I could have gone for weeks after and I would have not thought wow, of it. Wow, Because it's gross. It smells gross. Uh -huh. Like there's nothing good about it, oh. but it just made you look cool. Yeah. <laughs> Super cool. But cigarettes are not cool, all right? We're Canadian, like, uh, like PSA is different at all growing up than like American ones. I don't even know if like we, well, I guess you okay, so we had, do you know about the house hippo? <laughs> what is that? I am so excited to tell you about the house hippo. This is like a staple in like our generation of like Canadian kids growing up. So essentially <laughs> it was an ad for like the, the moral of the ad was like, don't believe everything you see on TV. But like obviously by the end of the commercial after they've shown you fucking two minutes of this like adorable little house hippo roaming someone's house at night. And like, they're like, oh, like it cuddles up on like cotton balls and it snacks on peanut butter crumbs and stuff in the middle of the night. And so every kid on their Christmas list every year would be like, I want a house hippo for Christmas. Wait, Look wait, how adorable it is. Wait, is that I'm, real? Wait, what's I'm a house? Like, I'm no, so confused this is like on- a PSA, like so a public PSA. service. And I, remember we would like be like, truth, don't drink. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, like, got it, got it. like okay. a way they would- yeah. So they were like, don't believe everything you see on would, TV. But by the end of the commercial, you're like, all I want and all I saw was a house hippo. <laughs> yeah. So it was like a failed, like- a Complete fail. I didn't realize that house hippos were not real until I was like 18. <laughs> I thought they were real just now. Oh, that's crazy. And people thought it was- Maybe wow, it was just me. <laughs> was it trying to say like drugs can 
No, no, it was just like, don't believe everything you see on TV. That's it? That's it. That was the PSA? That was the PSA, That's thing. horrible. Because they go, this is unrealistic, yes. so don't think there's a house hippo. Right, terrible. I don't know whoever planned this, but it was, they did this not do it. This is some shit would come Look, up with. Now the house hippo yeah. has a baby. Just fail. We never had don't believe anything. Yeah. <laughs> we were just like, this is all we, real. I think in America, I think, we're like, believe it. It's on the news. <laughs> it's think, on television. I think now is the best time to start fucking promoting shit like that. Don't believe everything you see yeah. on TV. No, it's never, it didn't work because I I just wanted everything that was in the video because right. the like the, the if I saw this as a child, I would want a house. Yeah, you're not even listening. You're not even listening at, that not even point. Listening at yeah. the end because you're just fo so focused on how cute he is. That's wow. Really cute. Every Canadian is a staple of their childhood. Is the house I'm surprised someone hasn't made a house hippo. Yeah, a house hippo. That'd be yeah. so cute for like your set layer. Oh, house <laughs> hippo. Would be really cute. Like, do you guys have a what was the um the the robo dog or the Furby? Like, I feel like <gasps> oh, you need the, a house yes. hippo that would do flips and shit. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, the robo dog. The robo I dog. had a robo dog. Was it called a robo dog? I thought no. it was. Think, was it not a robo dog? Was it like was a, it like blue and white? Yes, and yes, gray? yes, yes, okay. yes. Yeah, and it had, and the had that little bone that you would put. And it would activate yeah. it to be like. Bark, bark, bark. That shit yeah. was cute. You thought that was ahead of its oh, time. Oh, that's so you're the like, high tech wow. one. Oh yeah, no, I didn't have that one. Oh yeah, no, that's not what I had. No, that's like I robo shit. Robo dog nineties. Yes. On yeah. the left, yeah, the oh, pink that, ears, the green poochie. one. It was called a poochie. The oh, a poochie. One. That name does not sound familiar. It's kind of wow. Like, wow. Yes. Yes. That Flashback. name doesn't sound familiar at all. No, not at all. <laughs> a poochie. Robot dog. I had the pink ears one. Oh, what a throwback. Damn. Absolute throwback. Oh, damn. But anyways, I don't know if, I don't remember the drug and like alcohol stuff that we had. Obviously I was not paying attention. Like the, you mean we the dare program? Like, we didn't have dare though, I don't think. Oh, you didn't? No, cause I remember like, you know how they like uh, campaign like outside of like Starbucks and like Ralph's and stuff like that here? They still do. Oh, yeah. they do, they still do that. Yeah. Yeah. They still do that. And so I remember when I first moved here, I was like, what, I don't understand what they're like promoting. And like Urban Outfitters says that sells the dare shirt too. And I was like, oh, I don't yeah. understand. The dare campaign failed though. Now people wear it ironically. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Urban Outfitters. <laughs> So yeah, there. That's, that's bad. That's sad. <laughs> like you're totally against it's like anti doing that and people that do it wear it just to just for being funny. Because yeah. it looks cool. It's like kind of a sick t shirt though. Like, I do like the message. Like what could have could have they done differently that would have worked better, you think, than like that whole Stanford? program? They should have Drugs. forced every single fifth grader to smoke and drink in the class. Dare to. That way they hated it. Yeah. Force them all. They got scared. Yeah. Blunt to the face. Scare them straight. Exactly. What was it you Heath? Someone told, or like someone told me that like they got caught smoking and then the dad made them smoke a pack a day or like smoke cigarettes. Oh. Finished the, uh, it wasn't me, well, but I know what you're talking I have about. A friend that, made that them smoke cigarettes alcohol. until they were sick of it. And they're like, you, you want to smoke yeah. again? No, I'm never going to smoke again. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then they never smoked Vodka, again. I knew a kid that, that happened to it like 15. That's a really good, it's, all, it's bad, wow. but like I feel it works. <laughs> yeah. Zane is a parent over here. <laughs> I, I, I really like that method. I would want that method done on me if I like really, really I don't know it's very, it depends on your kid if you know bad? it's gonna work then nothing else just that for like drugs Tony or Robbins has done that I feel like it works <laughs> you're like a tab of acid you're gonna take the whole sheet well yeah. no 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> I think it has to make sense it can't kill you, but oh yeah, god, I, I that, that probably gave you the wrong like, impression of me. It's but. like Miss Trenchable when she made. Yeah, Bruce you could do it. Yeah, cake. Cake. Oh, she goes, oh my You're god, eating. finish it! I, I like. I was like, go, Miss Trenchable. <laughs> fucking discipline. Brucey. I was like low key jealous of Brucey though. That the cake, cake looks good. Looks so good. Yes. But no, they brought cookies. Like, bring it out here, cookies. <laughs> I made it special <laughs> myself. <laughs> she like, she did. She did. You know, there was no way you wanted that. Everyone no, like, but you the, can't uh, tell me that cake didn't look fucking it, bomb. It looked though. In so fudgy. Yeah. Uh, it was a good looking cake. Do you remember that scene in Matilda where she's like, it's a bug, it's a bug. She's like, it's a yeah. newt. <laughs> it's a newt. <laughs> like, chill out, Matilda. That movie's still like, have oh you watched it God. recently? It's so good. It's so good. Yeah. It what, is so good. What's weird is Danny DeVito is like the director and the dad. Oh, is he? And, and the narrator. The yeah. So like, oh. you're hearing like, this was Matilda. She loved going to the library. And then he's like, <laughs> Listen here, you little wiseacre. I'm smart. You're dumb. Why did they I'm do that? I'm making small. Did they do that like purposely, or there? He was just passionate about the project, and that was his wife. He just wanted to do everything in it too. Yeah. Oh really? Is his oh. wife? Yeah, I think they're divorced now. Love oh, that a triple paycheck. Oh. She's an amazing writer, Mara Wilson. Oh, is she? Now. Yeah, she doesn't act really anymore. Oh, she still does look like Matilda. Though. Oh my god, that is still. She kind of looks like Molly yeah. Burke. Yeah. Her mom also died like during like filming too. I read that oh, in an really? article. Oh, yeah. No, what, the middle of filming? Or like right before, like or wow. after filming release, that was like a really crazy time in her life. Oh my God, that's oh, awful. So I bet Miss Honey really meant a lot to her. Yeah. Oh, good, wholesome. Good thinking. Thank wow, you, you. the names you remember. 
I remember take, things I like. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this episode, BetterHelp. People don't always realize that physical symptoms like headaches, teeth grinding, and even digestive issues can be indicators of stress. And let's not forget about doom scrolling, sleeping too little, sleeping too much, under eating, and overeating. And stress shows up in all kinds of ways. And in a world that's telling you to do more, sleep less, and grind all the time, here's your reminder to take care of yourself do less, and maybe try some therapy. And if you guys don't know what BetterHelp is, BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's so much better to do it online than to go in person. You got to wait in a waiting room, it, see somebody, talk to somebody you probably don't want to talk to in person. It's hard to open up uh, in person. Exactly. Like a lot of us don't want to talk to like our friends or our family members. It's good to right. just talk to somebody that's unbiased and from the comfort of your own home. Plus it's much more affordable than in-person therapy. So give it a try and see if online therapy can help lower your stress. And what's great about this is that our listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash Zane and Heath. That's B E T T E R H E L P.com slash Zane and Heath. Thank you so much BetterHelp, for sponsoring today's podcast and helping our hearts and our minds and all of our listeners. Thank you. Okay, should we do Oscar stuff now or wait till the end? No, let's talk about it now. <laughs> okay, all right. Jump right into it. Okay, so um, we asked you like a few days before tonight if you'd be on the podcast and you said, yeah, you're down. And then two days later, the Oscars came, came and then we saw that shit and I texted you right after and I was like, <laughs> I cannot wait for you to come on because I knew you were somewhere near the Oscars. Uh -huh. You're at some like viewing party and I was like, we're going to talk about this shit oh so much. Oh and this shit episode. meaning Will Smith. Will the Smith. Slap. The, the, the slap. And not to take away from your night. <laughs> we would love to hear how dazzling the whole event so was. We yeah, all, so we, I, was, I wasn't at the Oscars. I was at the Oscars viewing party that's hosted by the Academy at the Academy uh, Museum of Motion Pictures. Picture. Yes. Yeah, 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 Most yeah. Picture Academy. So how was that? Like, was there like was there celebrities there too? Was it like it was influencers? Like, it was like uh no, it was like rich old people from indus the industry. Got it. I okay. Guess. They so, they couldn't get invited, so like they made like a whole nother thing. Or for them. I don't really know what the situation. It was like rich old people. And it was like still black tie, which was like kind of stressful. So they had like the <laughs> theater there. What? Oh no, no it was just it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Like, no, just black tight. Like we don't dress up for anything. So I, 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 I would have shown thinking. up in sweats and a, and a hoodie. <laughs> well, yeah. So like it was black tie, which because I was like, oh, we're just at like the museum, and then it ended yeah. up being like really fancy. So they have like the theater there for like regular video or movie or whatever. Yeah. And then they have like I guess it used to be an old Macy's the museum. So it's like a really cool like converted oh. warehouse oh, space. Okay. Basically, um, and so they just had like, you could watch it in like the really intense theater or you could just like watch it. They had like open bar and snacks and waiters and whatever. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's like the really intense theater. Oh, that looks sick. It was really cute. It was really cute. So we were like the Oscars of the people who didn't go to the Oscars. Got it. Cool. So it's cool, Did, but you're in the scene. It was, you're in the scene. It was, it was B team. Yeah. It was B tier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Which was, is still pretty cool. It's better than I'll watching it at home. You know I'll what I mean? It. Yeah, yeah. It was, but so we still had our audio cut though. When it oh, happened. oh, really? Oh, I think they fast. cut audio in America because so they did, except for in Japan and Australia. Australia. I, I think they're the ones where they're able. They, they couldn't catch yeah. because they probably saw it like a few seconds before we did. You know what's really strange is I saw that there's a seven minute like delay. That they have oh, to be long. able. Oh, that so, it, I didn't know it was that long with the delay. Yeah. Their editors must be crazy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You'd think they would have done something different, right? To like cut the whole. You're talking about for us. Like for yeah. our version, well, I th they have to think quick. They have to think Seven quick. minutes. Like, do we show the slap? Do we? Right. Do we yeah. cut before it even happens? Do we take out the joke if it was that bad? No you know one's. What I mean? It's the Oscars. No one's prepared for something like yeah. that. My birf my boyfriend, he works like he used to work in like uh, show tech stuff or whatever, and he said that like in the control room, there's someone who's like only and main job is to hover over the fucking mute button for like situations like this. Oh. And so it's like, they've got one job and it's like, you either keep your job after the night or you don't keep your job. Cause it's like, if you fuck up miss. and don't, you miss the one fuck that someone drops on right. broadcast TV. So they fucked up. No, no, the, in they, Japan. They, they, so did they have to <laughs> get that right? Like they're on the mute button. If you see a curse word coming or is it like, well, like a second after? I don't really know how it works because like it obviously happened live there, but right. like we lost all of our audio. So I don't know what the delay is. I think there has to be, uh, or like whoever sees it, First, there is some sort of delay. There, so yeah. It looked like it was it. just a. What was weird? It was just a pure black, though. Like that seems like an unplugged. Like, yeah. 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 They were like, oh, our, fuck it. Somebody. our version seemed like it was an unplug. Wow. Because I, I want to know what the reaction was like in this room because yes. these people are like involved. Yeah. And I'm sure. Okay, so Remy was there as well too. So when it happened, so our room. 
went silent. Everyone gasped and then we all <laughs> went silent because I think like, because it was just big screen TVs, we're like, is this like a technical difficulty? And then like, we're all reading lips. Cause like you could read his yeah. lips being like, keep my wife's name in your fucking mouth or whatever. Um, so I texted Remy and I was like, bitch, like what is happening? <laughs> and so she says that I was maybe only a few minutes texting her after it actually happened. So seven minutes might feel like a little bit long maybe. Right. But she also was like, I feel like this is real. Like it's not staged. Like she said, the energy I, is like really fucking weird in this room. I thought it was a bit like at first. Like, it yeah, seemed like a bit. Yeah. 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 I was trying to calm staged. everyone down. Being yeah. like, guys, it's a bit. Come on. And They've the way known he, each other for years. The way he like, like turned yeah. it back and went like that. Yeah. It just seemed like it was Fake. theatrical. Fake. Yeah. It was yeah. like a stage cl- a smack or something. And also I feel like our angle on TV, we saw like the back of him do it. So we're like, it's so easy to fake a stage. Exactly. Right. I, yeah, I'm surprised there's no other angles. Cause like there, w- there was I like a top angle. Knew, yeah. I mean, they probably didn't want to like leak all the footage. Yeah, like, I want to like see, I want to <laughs> see everybody's right. reaction. I need, to re- there's all these high profile identities yeah, yeah, yeah. in there. Exactly. You just want to like, Protect Somebody made a collage. I don't know if it was real. All right. So it's, 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 oh, 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 everyone's <laughs> posting about this was everyone's reaction. Oh yeah, Mel Gibson was oh, there this year. Yeah, no, half of those people weren't like uh, weren't even at the Oscars. Yeah, well, it's happening. Yeah, I, it's yeah. it's not like that. Jeremy's but. been seeing videos of the of like the war and thinking that like crazy shits going down, but it's all just like repurposed war footage. He's on like war TikTok. Oh right yeah, I'm, oh yeah, 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 yeah. He's on war TikTok, and so everything he's seeing, he's been like, yo, like look how crazy this is. Like this tank flips and explodes, and it's just like all recycled. It was war like footage. that was 2017. Yeah. Exactly. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You're like, oh, yeah. fuck. Okay. Exactly. Okay, but I mean, we all know what happened. It was um, so Chris Rock was obviously making a joke. Here's a th- well, yeah. So Chris Rock was making a joke towards Jada, saying something about her bald head, roasting all the couples of yeah. the night, and then he gets to Will and Jada and Jada and said and call and says like he goes G- Jada Pinkett Smith, uh, uh, GI Jane too. Love to see it. And- Will is laughing, and then you see Jada's face completely just turn like. Oh, I'm, I didn't like that joke. And he's walking towards him and he goes, oh, Richard, like thinking he's doing a bit a of bit, his yeah. character of being, you know, Richard uh, Williams, you yeah. know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and goes by and does that smack. Just slaps the shit out of it. Smack. And but props to Chris Rock for not I was gonna say that. reacting like differently. Like he handled it like a champ. Yeah. Yeah. He carried on as best as he could. I think yeah. he was more shocked than anything. Because if you're in shock, you're just like. That's why I was like, oh, this has to be real. Cause his reaction was just like complete shock. Yeah. And, and then I thought like, yeah, it was a bit until when like you saw it non-verbally. He's like, keep my wife's name out. And he has that blink at he the end. Crazy. I was like, oh. Yeah. I, He's the, being serious. The only thing that made me feel funny about all of it was the way Will Smith turned around. It was exact, like from every single movie. You're right. yeah. yeah. It was that it same. like his character. It was that hit and then this. And then just. <laughs> yeah. He like, like, he like when smirked. He, it, like, was, it, it was like, like Mike Lowry just did. It. You know what I mean? He yeah. like. Oh, but he had that kind of glazed look though too, where he, it looked like he was like drunk or he something. He looked unhinged. Like on a power trip. Yeah. yeah. yeah and yeah. if it was staged, he wouldn't be laughing when the joke was said. Yeah. Like he wouldn't change his like thought Demi- of- Exactly. Oh, That's true. Yeah. So yeah. now in the room, you're with all these people. Is anybody like kind of like speaking out being like that? Uh, 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 I know Will. He, he wouldn't do something like that. Or someone's like, no, no that was real, no, guys. No, this no, no, isn't- no. Every, It was literally just like the room went fucking silent. Wow. And the government was just like, <gasps> And then silence, just nothing. As you'd hear a pin drop. Are y'all talking with strangers about what just happened? Oh yeah, afterwards everyone's like, oh my fucking God, we're, I, I direct, I went to Twitter, obviously. Yeah, like, Twitter we all calls. did. Yeah. Every, people that don't have Twitter, they re-downloaded Twitter <laughs> just so to funny. see, just to see what happened. I was seeing everybody's feed. The girl that was actually was like on Twitter, but like on Chrome or like, like not like mobile Twitter, or whatever, yeah, like not the app. Right. And I was like, damn, we desperate. Now. Twitter offices were blowing up yeah. that fucking night because everybody just fucking re-downloaded their shit. I know you're pretty open about it with Jeremy and I think it'll help Help. Matt, um, I heard that you got Botox and it helped your psoriasis. Oh my God. Yeah, what do you want to know? I've gotten Botox in my jaw, my forehead. What kind of psoriasis do you have? I have gutate. S- you don't have gutate. What the fuck's gutate? I have gutate psoriasis. What's gutate psoriasis? How do you not know that gutate psoriasis when you have psoriasis? It's a psoriasis that, because co- there's so many different forms. I'm, I'm just surprised that she did, didn't know gutate psoriasis. I'm not a, I'm not a gutate um, expert. I don't know. I just know what I have. That's like 
I'm Mine's not like, comparing it to cancer, but if somebody had different forms of it, you don't know. <laughs> and someone has Look, skin cancer doesn't know about someone who I was has. Try, I was just trying to call her off real quick. You also, know? I didn't know. I didn't know where you were going with that. Like, you and Jeremy really open. I was like, oh. I thought you were talking about open, I you were talking about open relationship. I was Which like, we oh, are not in. I want to be very what a good clear. segue. What a good segue. <laughs> what a good segue. <laughs> but I do want to know because what's a goo? I get goo. Goo psoriasis usually happens to me after I get strep throat. Us uh, because my autoimmune system is like overreacting. Once uh -huh. the strep throat is even gone, it goes into hyperdrive and it starts like attacking uh, basically my skin, but like by just shedding off dead skin cells. And then I just get splotchy psoriasis all over. And I, but Humira and consent, Consentix have helped me. But um, I'm curious about this Botox. Thing. So I only have it on my scalp and my forehead. Oh, oh okay. I'm, oh, like right random. there? Literally one patch, like right here, never eyebrow. Oh, super, that's something. There's so many. I've never had it on my body. Oh, okay. Yeah, mine like cover like my side. His whole body. You had it your whole arms. life. Yeah. Uh, maybe like for the last since like college, maybe. Gotcha. I got like, mine first time like, in college. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow, I hate that for us. I know. So it now, triggers it. Now you don't have it anymore. No, no, I do. I just um have like a, a whole um, I have a really disgustingly expensive um, uh, dermatologist <laughs> in Beverly Hills who is really really good though. Wait, is it the same? Is dermatologists would still count yes, for like a body skin, yes, right? Yes, yes, yeah. in a way yeah. like that has helped me in the past, but most of the time now, yeah, no, it is the same, but I go through like my healthcare provider. Got I it. get it, but mine, I know the exact trigger. And Ooh, once it's right. gone, it's it? gone. Stress? <laughs> strep throat. Oh. Oh, it, oh, wait, so do you get strep throat a lot? No, every like two or three years, but once that's I get like it, kind of a I'm, lot, that's why I'm <laughs> yeah. so- that's like kind so every time I'm in, every, every time I'm in the house and I go, <clears throat> oh my throat, he freaks out because he's just like if it's strep throat. We literally can't be in the same. Would house. Would you get your tonsils out? Uh, that's a good question. I don't. They apparently now you can say um, take my tonsils out now without any oh, without cause. Like but like a lot of times doctors will be like, no, you don't get strep throat that much. You don't get tonsillitis that much. Oh. But I'm like, but if you do get them removed, psoriasis like never happens again. Wait, what really? the fuck? That's crazy it's attached to your tonsils. Oh, yeah. so just, you, just remove it then. Have you taken your tonsil stones out? Uh, no, but I'm curious. It's All right. so nasty. It's really gross. Oh. Uh, Pull up tonsil no, stone no, removal. No, 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 Zay no, 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 no. I have to see this. I, <laughs> so it's a, it's, oh a, it's a calcium buildup from like food and it gets caught in your tonsils and it starts to harden. I've had like two in my life and I wanted to die. Oh my oh. God. Oh. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? Not. Yeah. Wait, those are big. Those Dude, are really they big. They come out like, oh! I saw some TikTok of someone who had like this little thing back there just pushing them out. Yeah. Wait, those are really big. Do we big. all have tonsil stones and just that ours don't- my it's, question. It's just like, there's like little pockets in your tonsils. In, in what, I'm, I'm confused, like in your- Your tonsils. There, it, in your tonsils, Where there's like- tonsils? Wait, can you not see your tonsils? Like, so when I look in the back of my throat, I can yeah, see my tonsils. Yeah, you can see it. So, can they, you type they, in tonsils? Uh, I got No see stones, what. no stones, just tonsils. Yeah, it's like those puffy oh, things in the back. Oh, I don't yeah. know. Here, can you see mine, Heath? Some people can't. <laughs> Down. Any stones back there? <laughs> you've got you've got the pockets, but I don't see any stones. Sam, do you have lockjaw? Yeah, that's really bad. I'm gonna need, um, I'm gonna need to get surgery at some point in my life. They're gonna have to they're gonna have to shut my jaw. Break like, your jaw shut and wire it shut for probably a month and a half. <gasps> yeah, I know. But, I, but I'm on a podcast, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. That. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Disney. Throw straws on the word. You're typing it and it's an audio yeah. voice. Oh. Yeah, so I like that's I always think about that, and I try not to. Tonsil stones or having your no, or, no oh, I'm TMJ. Gonna, no TM like about the surgery that I'm gonna have to oh, do. Oh yeah, and yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna have to wire my jaw shut. I got Botox for TMJ in my jaw. It, you can get Botox yeah. for it. Botox, I've heard that too, yeah. but like this I heard it's like also a really thing. dangerous. I saw a TikTok where a girl got it uh -huh. and it completely paralyzed her face. Whoa. I also think I saw that TikTok. <laughs> um, her like her, half I her face was. I like, think she, that's rare. Yeah, you need to go to a. You're good in 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 Hollywood. You're in good. Hollywood, you're good. You're good. You're good. Baby. You're good. You're care of. <laughs> so, do you recommend? Uh, not asking know. a doctor. Do know. Do you recommend that I do it? Um, sure. Let's take a vote. All right. <laughs> try it. I think you should. I think you should try it. Raise your hand in the room if you've ever had Botox. I'm gonna get Botox in my tonsils. Keep them bitches. Can you, can you do that? No drag reflex. I'd get Botox. I haven't gotten them in oh a while. Oh my god, Jeremy has Jeremy has in his crow's feet. So Jeremy's he's uh, had Botox in his crow's mm, feet. Yeah. So Jeremy uh is adopted and. When we oh, he is yeah, wow. yeah, and so when we met his birth See, dad, 
it's the first time we seen him in like forever. And uh, so we had dinner with them. So his birth dad is like around like 46, 48 or so. Wait, hold on. So his birth dad, yeah. has, did he know him forever or he just? um Like he knew who he was. They like didn't have a relationship, but okay. they were like, hey, we're coming to LA for family vacation. Like want to get dinner. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, here we go. <laughs> oh my God. It was like super, I feel like that's a big deal. I've, no? I, I've heard a lot of this story. That's why, I don't know, I'm only saying because I'm reacting. Not that <laughs> yeah, You guys are best. <laughs> No, you don't even have to say it. You don't even have yeah, to say you're it. You're such a good actor. You don't even have to say anything. I was just worried because we're always on the same camera. So like my reaction right now, I'm nope, like. Nobody thought that. You're fine. Okay, my bad. I was just having anxiety. I'm like, do I need to be like, huh? What? No, no. But I love that you're reacting this way. So let's go. Let's, yeah. Um. So we went for dinner with his uh birth dad and like his new family or whatever. And um, he, w the moment we got back in the car, Jeremy was like, book the Botox. He's like, that man has crow's feet. I was like, I refuse. <laughs> Oh, that's so I funny. And so then he came with me to get Botox, immediately passed out. <gasps> no way. <laughs> oh my gosh. As be soon as the needle hit before? or before? I like as when it was happening, when it was happening. And so like, Jeremy's six, four, like he's a large man. And our Botox doctor is like this little tiny, like five, four little Asian man. He's so sweet. And so they're reclining him down into like this like dentist style chair. One woman is like handing him a juice box as he's like coming. <laughs> oh, that's oh funny. Oh my God. That's really funny. He just got like really nervous. Well, so he also had like taken an Adderall or in the day and like maybe just like was dehydrated. So it was a combination of like right. the nerves of having a needle next to your eyeball, which is like not great. Yeah. So Jeremy came up with the idea. Oh, we, I'm not kidding. We got in the car and it was like, not that it was like Boy. emotional, but like the dad had like said like lots of, you know, touchy feely stuff. Okay. The first thing he said when we got back in the car is book the Botox appointment. Oh, that's <laughs> when he got out of it. That's when he got out of it. That's, that's when he got out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's take really me. Funny. Could you see like a pretty drastic difference? Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Wow. Botox works. Do you ever just like take pictures of yourself? You're like, God, I look like older than I used to. Never. Never. <laughs> they're no, looking. They're perfect. looking younger. It's it's the, it, well, now well, that they're like, weight. yeah. yeah it now that they're helping. getting in but shape, you don't ever they look worry, younger. Like, like when you smile, like smile. Oh yeah. But I like the thing is, I'm, I feel like Arab people don't like age fairy. It's like, yeah, Asians. you're good. Let me yeah. look at your dad, you'll saying? be fine. So like Asian don't raisin is like ours. <laughs> oh, the way Asian don't raisin? Asian yeah, don't they raisin. don't wrinkle. Yeah, yeah, we don't wrinkle. Oh, I've never heard that term. Like I'm gonna look the same until I'm 70 and oh, then I I'll shrink down like four inches and get really small. <laughs> yeah. I can yeah. see I that. I think it's what you put in your body too. I feel like if you eat good, all that, you know, you, you really live a healthy life. So I feel like you won't wrinkle. And because I've been getting Botox as well. <laughs> Botox. Botox, Botox helps you. I think I have psoriasis. <laughs> I suddenly oh, he need wants Botox. Botox. <laughs> Book the oh, appointment. Yeah, yours are very Bunch normal. of guys who get chin filler because it slims out their face. What? What? Yeah. So they're like, maybe we're just not researching enough. <laughs> like right. we don't look this shit up. We just wish it was like, oh, I wish I could do that. But you don't like, we don't look it up. Yeah, yeah. A lot wow. of guys do cheek filler and chin filler because it like it structures wow. and lengthens. Okay, so and so, we're over here thinking everybody's just better it's looking perfect. than us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, unbelievable. Because when you think Botox, you think plastic looking yeah. thing, but that's yeah. just yes, going yes, yes. for 20 years of their life. When like, you, you know, like it's very minimal. Cinderella story. Yes. yes. Jennifer, the, the uh, mother. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. Or whatever. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. who you think that's of, who you think exactly. of. but it's very minimal. If you go once or twice and it lasts a whole okay, freaking so, year so of your life. Is Botox plastic surgery? What is no, plastic no, surgery no. when you see people When you're like, under the knife. Oh, they open you up and then they. That's that's a that's bad lip injection. Yeah, like, like whatever a that face, face uh, like a facelift. That's surgery. Yeah, yeah. they yeah. like they in incisions here or something. They pull up your skin. It's it's like a tummy tuck. Okay. I do have a friend who goes to her doctor and she was like, "What can I do to feel prettier?" It's like sad though. Isn't that sad? Oh, oh I would do that. It is. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> they're honest though, there. Yeah. yeah, and like I feel doctors, like they're brutally honest. <laughs> yeah, they're like, Telling oh, I, you shit you I don't see need exactly what you're saying. Yeah. Oh my God, my best friend. So she went in for, she got a chin job and a nose job. And chin, chin job. Chin That's the job. filler. That's no, no, no. They put an implant in. From what? Where? From Why? Where? where? I don't know. I don't know where it comes out of. I have no idea. I didn't ask. Wait, what, what do you mean? An uh, implant? Where do you put it? Right in here, your chin. In your chin. Yeah, so some, your chin. You don't need a chin. <laughs> Matt, Zay needs a chin extraction. You get a chin <laughs> reduction. <laughs> Shave it down a bit. You can do. Ah! Keep my chin out of your <laughs> mouth. It was a chin <laughs> reduction joke. Tonight's nominees. <laughs> so, but her doctor, so she was going for a nose job and a chin job, like that was scheduled. And the doctor suggested that she do chin lipo. What in the, everything exists. So just you can get everything, everything done. Everything exists. Yes. Just everything, just everything here. So her jawline is cut as fuck. She's also like ripped at her mind now too. So like, even if she hadn't, I think she'd look the same, but Does like. 
just all here. Does it look natural? Oh, you'd never know. The only thing we like when it drops is houses, baby. We see a new house drop. Let's look like at it. We, we love it. a good house. I love a Zillow. A Zillow mm. search. Oh, mm. love them. Oh my God. We love That's ripping them apart the too. That's my oh favorite. yeah. <laughs> my favorite thing to like feel really sad about life is like knowing what I paid for my house here and then going to like other yep. areas in like the Midwest what and you like seeing gotten. what you could have gotten. It's, it's the, the worst. worst. In like Minnesota or something like that. Toxic. Oh right. my God. Don't do that Our Minnesota listeners. <laughs> They're like me and my man. Baby, we made a good guy. Y'all listen to the same thing. Stop. Yeah, we, we play that game a lot, though. Oh, it hurts the heart. Mm -hmm. It hurts the heart. But you know what? We're able to live here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, God, I want to get out. expect a reaction because I could not react to that. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to stay positive. <laughs> I, was, I was really. I wish we could do what we could do here anywhere else. Oh yeah. my god! I know. I, hate this place. I think about that all the time. If I could just like, like, like bring all of like my friends if and like our group push and relocate bikini everyone. Bottom. <laughs> bikini bottom, yeah, bikini bottom. literally. Yeah. Is your family here? No, no, no. They're all in uh, Canada. What's one thing you miss most about Canada? How nice people are. Yeah, there's a lack of guns. There's like a huge the drastic. house hippo. <laughs> the house hippo. Oh my god, the house hippo. Obviously. So that's not just a, like a just a myth or a rumor that like people in Canada are actually all very nice. I mean, obviously not all of them. There's assholes everywhere. But like, I would say people in Canada are, are relatively really nice. Have you ever been to Casa Loma? No. What's Casa Loma? You're not Loma? It's like this castle that I saw when I was little. I, what province is it in? I don't know. Toronto. Toronto. Good, Zane. Oh, oh, no, I have. Oh, my God. No, I have. I went to a Halloween party here. What? You went to a Halloween yes. party in there? Wait, yes, there yes, go. yes. Wait, yes. how'd you? It's a, huh? muse it's a museum. Yes, I went to a crazy Halloween party there. <laughs> Must be nice. <laughs> that was probably a banging Halloween party. Yeah, because it, it is a creepy castle. It was. It was so like yeah. horror. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. 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 Wait. How do you know? Just a guess. We're just participating. <laughs> Casa Loma. Yeah, Casa Loma. Oh my that god. That looks so cool. That does look cool. Wow. Well, that did just... it used to be a castle, or was it a dude who built a house that looks like a castle? I think it was a castle. You just pulled the memory so deep from my brain. Oh my god. Well, thank God. Well, I mean, it was a deep. It was a. It was that, way back then. That is the so. ultimate Halloween party that location. Is, it was like sick. it was kind of formal. Like it wasn't like a it wasn't like a college rager or anything. It was like the castle like put on an event type of thing. It was still fun though. Like they're obviously like they got budget. Yeah. To it's nothing like the, the Casper Halloween party in that mansion though. It's, best it's just the party. set of uh, the Backstreet Boys music video. <gasps> was it really? Everybody. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, it was. Yeah. I was so obsessed with that movie in that house where my mom bought me like the toy, like the, the mansion. <laughs> the miniature. Where, where, where I could open it up and I could <laughs> have all my characters. Did you ride around in the cart? Do you remember like she gets in the chair and yeah, No, they and didn't like, have that in there, but I wish it did. That was the coolest thing. It was really cool for like everybody watching that, right? Like, yeah. It made you want to be in that so bad. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know about that? Casa Loma. It's so random. How often do you go back? To Casa Loma. No, to Canada. <laughs> to Canada. <laughs> um, probably like twice a year, probably for Christmas and then in the summer at some point. Oh, I'm, nice. I'm like an only child, so my parents like love coming out here. Oh, okay. That's yeah. nice. Did you yeah. wish you had other siblings? No. <laughs> no, we talked about this yeah. actually on my <laughs> I'm just every asking. <laughs> you like being like the, the yeah, only was, child? Yeah. It was good. It was good. I mean, like sometimes I see. Um, this is so funny seeing all like the Lord is about getting Botox with Jeremy. This is so funny. No, don't look. <laughs> that's a mystery. The show notes. <laughs> no, Wait, yeah. do you see anything on there that's interesting you want to talk about? No. <laughs> oh, you've been on quite a few band trips. What was the craziest band trip experience you've had? Uh, that says brand, brand. trip. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I was really excited about some ba crazy band stories. That was Jeremy who went to band camp. You won something that we've never won before, a shorty and yeah, a streaming. Yeah, what the hell is the secret to that? Yeah, it must be We nice. can't even get nominated. Yeah. <laughs> politics. Okay. So you worked Sorry. on it. No, I feel like I got thrown on there and then I feel like every year they just kind of like shift out a person and then that person wins and they just like shift out one new person kind of. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I will say though, having a random award, even if it's like in an internet category, is like one of the pillars of getting a green card. They love that shit. Oh, wow. really? Immigration wise, yeah. Oh, that is interesting. Oh my God, they love like traditional stuff, like the green card immigration people. Traditional, like they would oh. take a newspaper article or like a spot on like a 30 seconds on like the Today Show and an award like that over anything she else you would stay. ever do. Yeah, literally. She's gonna make money and pay taxes. This one and here. And so wow. you, you've done it. 
So you've done all those. Yeah, and I still got denied for a green card. So we go in again for round two. So they must not love it then. How did they not see that like you're a host of an HBO show though? Okay, so I applied like right sense. before that. So I'm hoping that this will be enough now to get me over the edge. To yeah, that's a, a pretty pretty big thing to be on an HBO show. Oh my God, dude. And it's like, I even then I owned a house. I have US employees and I'm like, I don't know what else I can give you to like show you that like I can stimulate the economy here. Right. <laughs> I don't know what else I can do. So you've done a lot of DIY stuff in the past, but what's the most expensive like DIY project you've done? Oh, I mean, I don't know. Like, I feel like it's like, like the whole, <laughs> what are you laughing at, man? I was just laughing. No, I just, it's funny. Um, the answer though is like, I, it's like not a memorable because DIY, I feel like the whole like essence behind is like make shit for cheap. Right. 200 bucks. I don't know. Like oh, okay. the, the answer is literally like under a thousand for sure. Because it's supposed gotcha. to be cheap. Yeah, that's, cheap. that's what makes it DIY. Yeah. Not, not anymore. Prices are through the roof on wood. Oh dude, Michaels and Joanne's not cheap. Yeah. Mm. The little figurines. We're like six bucks a pop. What about the figurines? Why? Why do they make it? <laughs> oh, so y'all were in like the mini, mini little figurines, yeah. like the tiny little people for. Um, I really like watching those videos. Oh. People building like mini dumpsters from scratch. Oh yeah, those mini are fun. dumpsters. Oh, my what do you mean God. mini dumpsters? Really so, cool. Like just uh, scenes, making like a scene out of like miniature things. I know, but what's a dumpster? So this um, guy built one. It was like just an old dumpster, and then he painted it to look like it was uh, just, just realistic. Beat, abused, and then like had spray paint on it. It just looks sick. I'm not on that side of TikTok. Yeah. Look, up, look up miniature dumpster. Oh, you, like an actual dumpster. Yes, yeah. but like someone but, does but that by hand. People making it from scratch. Oh. Like it's just cute. Got it. Okay. It's I don't it know why. Cute. I love smaller things of regular. That's what I kept asking. I was like, I, that's did you what get I into the mini cooking phase? I watched a lot of that. <laughs> I watched a lot of I did consume cooking. a lot of content. And uh, when the hamster eats it at the end is my fucking favorite. I've never seen that one. Oh my God. Like they would like make a little tiny burrito and then the hamster's holding See, and look it. At, look at these little eggs. <laughs> oh, no, I, so I remember. I love, I love watching these videos. I don't think my hands yeah. are that still. I, I think I would be so oh, cool. Zane doing it would be. Oh, yes. and my nails. Oh, <laughs> imagine seeing my fucking disgusting nails while trying to do this <laughs> shit. See, this is like the ideal side of TikTok that I want to be on. Yeah, that's that's funny. Like hamster burrito TikTok. I feel like I may have asked this on my podcast. <laughs> you are plugging in your podcast very well. <laughs> really? <You're> like, <laughs> what is something Every TikTok thinks you like that you're like, I don't like this. We did talk about this. Shit. Yeah. My bad. No, 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 but I want to have this conversation with everyone because I love hearing what side of TikTok people are on. Um, right now, I'm trying to think like what's some weird shit I've seen recently. I see a lot of dog stuff. It's like a ton of dogs. Um, I've had a few ASMR people, which I don't love. ASMR is like not quite for me, but there's like this one girl who does like your aura cleansing or something like that. And she's doing all the shit where she's like pulling stuff out of you like that. What? No, yes. I've never heard of that. It's so weird. She's like, so if the camera's here, she's like pulling, pulling, right. pulling like things like out energy. of energy. Yeah, it's like a it, weird it, energy. Are you ever like, <laughs> well, get closer going, let's try this. Right, like I have a headache. Like, come on, pull that put shit your, out of there. Put your phone on your heart. <laughs> you know what comes up a lot on my feed that I love the Japanese when she's eating the food? Like on a tray, oh, and she oh. sets it up. She just. And no, I, I watch the whole thing. No fast forward. I watch the whole thing, and then I'll go to the next <laughs> one. It's crazy. I only like stuff if I'm gonna show Mariah. Oh, that's how. I feel. Yeah. And then we'll just like go through. Have you heard the uh, like the DJ beat that they that someone yes, made of the Will Smith? So yeah. fast. Yes. So fast. We're, oh, we're gonna we're gonna see that shit like after ten years. We're still gonna keep seeing it's it. Like it's like the crazy. Kanye with Taylor Swift. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, it still yeah. circulates every year. Yeah, was right. that the last thing that happened? That was as impactful as this? I, um, at an award there show? Was, remember, was it, how many Someone years said ago? the wrong uh, movie. Moonlight, yeah, there was yeah. like that, that fuck up with the titles. Oh, yeah, that yeah. But that wasn't as big as the Taylor Swift. No, that Kanye was just someone. The, yeah. the Steve Harvey fuck up was really good. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, that was good, but still not as impactful as the Kanye. Yeah. Or when John Travolta was introducing uh, <gasps> Adina Menzel and he goes, <laughs> Adi <Adine> Kazim. <laughs> <laughs> like something. Adi it was something like that. He goes, Adi Kazi. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I saw that one. Just so he was like, he was like this it's crazy. <laughs> confidence. I love it. And you're in front of a room full of your peers. Like, you don't think that you would just at least practice your lines a little bit before? Oh, they're probably just like so successful. Yeah. They're like, yeah. so I've done this a hundred times. Yeah. yeah. Who do you, you want me to say some names? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Adi Kazi. <laughs> Oh, I have a question about the show you did for um, HBO, Craftopia. Uh -huh. Did you have to take any hosting classes? 
to do that show or you you just got booked and you just did it? She's a natural. Yeah, I just got booked and I did it. <laughs> Damn, you didn't yeah. like have to practice or anything? It must be nice. <laughs> no, 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 I watched season one and I'm like, oh, that's tough, that is tough. And like season two, like I feel so much like better about it. Uh -huh. But season one, I'm like, oh bitch, you could have used, like, cause I, they probably have hosting classes. Like, I would have done them yeah, if we, I'd known we about it. Yeah, we want to take one, mm -hmm. just, really? to, just in case we just ever have to host have something. It. Yeah, honestly, I watched a lot of making it Nicole Byers, the host of Making It, and she's pretty funny. She's a comedian though, so it's like you already have a fucking leg up in the competition. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're a comedian, because I feel like they hire exactly. people like that all the time. And <clears> it's like I want to find like between the Ryan Seacrest and the Nicole Byer, I feel yeah. like there's a there's a happy middle mm -hmm. ground there that is like doable. But yeah, no, I, I feel like I should take one. They have right, them, we should, right? Is, we, I don't know. We should look it up though. I would love to. Yeah. I, I would I, honestly. I would take like a few hours every week to do a hosting class. Yeah, same. We should because I think it was just it's better for you. I want to take an auction class. Learn how to like do an auction. Hey I now, pitter patter, pitter batter, beer, beer, <laughs> beer, 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 the set is, they crushed the set. They absolutely Yeah, it looks it. great. When James Charles did his uh, first season of, or the, I guess the only season of Instant Influence or whatever, the, mm -hmm. the makeup competition, um, we had the same set designer for it. Oh, cool. But the YouTube budget was a fraction of the size of the HBO budget. And so I remember James being like, I want what Craftopia has. And they were like- Couldn't get it. Mm -hmm. Can we come to set? Yeah. <laughs> did you pitch the idea to HBO or HBO had this idea and they're like, you'd be you'd be perfect for it? HBO and the production company had it kind of like half-baked. And then one of the execs at HBO, her daughter was like 16 or 17 and was like, and pitched me to her mom. Oh, wow. that's all wow. oh, I know. Like that's how it always, that's that's how, always how it happens. Hey, y'all pitch us. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Our listeners out there, <laughs> please. I, I'm kidding. Not. <laughs> no, no, yeah, so, go. Like, cool. really so, like, cool. her name is Grace, and she's 16, 17. I literally landed that because of Grace, the 16 year old girl, Damn. daughter of an exec. I Shout know. out That's to Grace. Sick. Shout out to Grace. That's crazy. Is there a wow. season three coming? Fingers crossed. So, HBO is doing a merger with Discovery. And so, like, if they could spend just a little bit less time on discovering David Dobrik or whatever, and a little more time on proving Craftopia season three, that would be sick. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're almost done. They're, they're, they'll be done in about like what seven months. So you're, you're almost there. Sick, sick, sick. Cool. <laughs> it's got an eighty-six percent on Rotten Tomatoes, oh, Lauren. That's really? Oh my god, I've never looked. That's Wait. that's pretty cool. Wait, Lauren, that's really good. Our set got nominated for a daytime Emmy. What's the what's the audience that's score so on that? Uh, Maybe I don't want to know. Wait, if it's Wait, less than 86, I don't want to know. Rotten Tomatoes is pretty like accurate like harsh. too. Yeah, they're really yeah, they oh are God. harsh. Wow, I'm that's so nice. It's certified. Oh, what, what the fuck? Lauren, oh my God, that's go. bullshit. 86, eight. My eyes are so like bad. Can you make it bigger? Show. Make it bigger. <laughs> zoom in, zoom in. That's insane. Wow, that is so, that's the nicest thing I've ever seen in my entire and life. And you're listening under executive producer, so you put in some money. I did not, but I oh. put in some work. Well, well. Wait, I'm like, I'm, I'm, my, I'm, I'm, Fucking mind blowing with that. That's with literally numbers. the nicest thing I've ever seen. That looks like the cover let's of a to, Lifetime movie. It right looks like, now. A know, Christmas, like, like a Christmas. Like, Those are Christmas the Christmas episodes. Oh. Matt, let's yeah. go to se let's go to season one. <laughs> season no, no, one, no, no, Ron no, 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 it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We'll just move right on to season two. <laughs> Fuck, you'd say you did a much better job than season Way one. Way better in season two, yeah. Bow we also, we also <laughs> had uh, adults contestants of season two and kids of season one. Oh, and like. I don't mind kids, like kids are right. fine, but I'm much better with like conversing with an adult. Cause you can't yeah. tell a kid like, yo, that shit fucking sucks. Like, you can't say that. Exactly. Yeah, little shit. <laughs> little shit, this sucks. Wow, good what? oven mitt, Bethany. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Very creative. I love what you're doing there. You are not in the running to becoming America's next <laughs> Craftopia <laughs> queen. <laughs> Craftopia. So season two is better because it was adults and you could Did you be. feel bad hurting the little kids' feelings? Well, it was a host, so I didn't have to like say anything really mean, but like kids would just like burst into tears. Oh. And it was really sad. And like again, I didn't grow up with siblings. I don't have like any you like younger kids yeah. in my family, so I'm like they're there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Boy. Really Did they, they at least get some prizes though? Oh yeah. I mean some of the kids won five grand. Whoa. Oh, yeah. that's a lot of candy. They're like, what are you gonna spend the prize money on? They don't <laughs> even, even want to know. No, one girl who won, she's like, I'm gonna buy a horse. She was like a big time into oh, like- Okay, horses. mom and dad, the mom and dad are like yeah. college fun. <laughs> oh my God. So how much you get paid to be on the show? <laughs> <laughs> Higher, lower. <laughs> all right, Zane, you wanna close this out? Yes. All right, guys. Um, <clears throat> Lauren, all right, guys. Wait. All right, <laughs> All right, guys, Lauren. <laughs>
<laughs> Lauren, thank you so much for taking yes, the time to you. be on here today. You're I'm incredible. So no, incredible. But like, I'm just like stressed that we talked about NFTs and tonsil stones. Like what a <laughs> what a show. I, I was entertained. I was I was very entertained the entire time. Yeah, the, our interviews are different. <laughs> Love it. So excited. Thanks for having me. Of course. Yeah, thanks for coming um, of on. course, you can always check her out on her own podcast that she has with Jeremy. It's called Wild to Nine. Wild, 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 mm -hmm. wild to Nine. Mm -hmm. Wild Till Nine. Sorry. On her YouTube channel. You can check her out. Uh, we're also going to be on her on her podcast next. I'm so bad at this. We're also going <laughs> to Check it out. We're going to be doing another episode on their podcast again very soon. You could also check out our coffee, Cremota Coffee. <laughs> uh, we got a couple different flavors, K cups. Bagged coffee, whatever you want. I'm stumbling. This is a I'm really strong outro, you guys. I, I, yeah, no, I'm, I'm yeah, fucking. Like they're brain. intimidated after the Rotten Tomatoes stories. <laughs> yeah. I'm seeing how great of a host you are. You can check Lauren out on all her socials. She has a YouTube channel. She has Craftopia on HBO Max. You can check that out. Two seasons, maybe third season. She also has an um, an Instagram, an <laughs> NFT. <laughs> nice. Oh boy. Wow. Um, wow. I would do the same. Um, 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 there was one really important thing I wanted to say that you should check her out on. Um, um, I think we did it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, check out Cremota Coffee, Cremota.com. <laughs> <laughs> you can get K cups and a bunch of different flavors. We got bag coffee. Make sure to check out the podcast every single Monday audio on Spotify, Apple, however you listen. Uh, and then the video every single Tuesday, youtube.com slash Zane and Heath. And then also make sure to check out our high episodes, early access to our podcast ad free. We have a private discord and that's all going to be on our patreon what? Patreon. all that on one page Zane and he no that's way. right for five dollars come what on a deal. Now. What a deal. Come thank on. you again for coming <laughs> thank on thank you, thank you so much more we'll see you guys next week bye guys bye. Bye. <sighs> outro sucks <laughs>